Okay, this is pretty exciting. They have just released not long ago Ink Stitch 3.1.0 beta, and they're asking for testers. Testers, welcome. To get to this, just go to inkstitch.org, scroll down to the bottom of the first page, and click on the 3.1.0 beta is out. Click on whatever you need for your system. In my case, of course, Linux, and I'll do an RPM for my OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. And they are asking that uh, if you don't understand the specifics of what a beta is, a beta for the most part is we think our, our software is ready for general release for the public, but we're not 100% sure because we only have a limited set of boxes to test it on. We'd like some testers to test it out on, and if it all tests really good, then we'll do the official release shortly. If you remember Ink Stitch 3.0.0, when it was released, it had a massive bug in it that kept it from working, at least on Linux. I don't, I don't remember specifically if it was the other operating systems or not. But it did have a, a pretty decent bug on it that kept it from running. And that's why our current stable release is 3.0.1 is because they had to do another release to fix that bug. So this time around, they're going with the beta route. I love it. And the thing about the beta is they are confident that it's better than the development version that I've been running over the course of the last several weeks. And they're, they're confident enough that they're saying, we think it's good. We need testers to help us make sure it's good. So please load it up and test it if you're feeling froggy. If you do find an issue, there's a link right here for the github.com ink stitch issues. Click that button. Oh, there's a bug. Alrighty. I will report that shortly. And I will have in the description below in this video a link to the good ink stitch issues. And let's go to GitHub. I have it right here. Ink stitch, ink stitch issues. So I will I will put this link in the description below and I will actually report on this. I'll actually do that right now. So new issue. Inkstitch.org beta link to GitHub broken. And my description is going to be go to GitHub. No, let's go to Inkstitch. Say that right. Yeah, Inkstitch.org. Scroll down, beta, and ink stitch issues. I get a 404. I'm going to copy this. Copy. The inkstitch.org link to GitHub. Directs to. Which gives a 404 page not found. Pounds. The link should direct to. And I'm pretty sure it's just another forward slash in there. Ink stitch. Let me test that just to make sure. And that is correct. Alrighty. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So now my issue that I just posted is right here. So it's that easy. You post it. There it is. People can see it. All right. 
So with that taken care of, once you come here, you saw how it, how easily it was. If you come here with a problem on the beta, please make sure you include your current operating system, be it Windows, Linux, Mac, and which version you're on. So Windows 7, 11, or 10, 7, 10, 11, um, Mac, Mojave, and all the other names they use, or Linux. Make sure you please include the uh, what version of Linux you're running. Is it is it uh, Ubuntu? Is it OpenSUSE? Leap or Tumbleweed? Is it Arch? Etc. Etc. Please include that. And if you can find it, go into Inkscape and click on the Help About. To, to know and and report which version of Inkscape we're running. So I'm running version 1.3.2. That will help them to narrow down what the problem is. So operating system, what version of operating system and what version of Inkscape you're running, please. To make it more convoluted, if you're running Linux, also include, is it a repo install? Is it a flat hub? Is it a snap? FlatHub and Snaps are hard to get to work with InkStitch. FlatHub's easier, or Flatpak rather, is easier. Snaps are not easy. It's a it's a whole minefield, basically. So anyway, please include all that information and then include description of problem you're having. And if an error report came up, in, just copy and paste that error report and it'll help them out immensely. Okay, so I have done that. I've closed out Inkscape. I'm going to go ahead and install the new version that I just downloaded. Let's see. Downloads should be right here. Ink Stitch Beta. Okay, that's it. So first thing I'm going to do, this may or may not be necessary, but I have figured out that with the development versions, it helped immensely to first uninstall Ink Stitch. And whatever system you're running, you should be able to do that. Pretty sure in Windows, you can go to uninstall software or ink stitch menu and uninstall something like that. From here, I'm going to do it just from the terminal. So I'm going to do a sudo zipper remove ink stitch. And it really is that simple. So long as I spelled everything correctly, which I, apparently I did. And then we're going to install the next one. So sudo zipper in. Ink stitch hyphen zero. Uh -huh. Underscore B. Grab pipe beta. Okay, as I was hitting tab, each time I added a letter to it, I was hitting tab to try to get that autocomplete to take, which it did. And it says, are you sure? Yes. Now on open SUSE. It does say signature verification failed. This is similar to on Windows. When you go to install it, it's going to say, we don't know what this file is and we don't think you should install it, but install it anyway. I'll show you a little bit more details on that shortly. So I'm going to ignore, yeah, ignore the error and go ahead and install it. If you're installing the SH version, the shell, the shell script, I don't think it does that. And it's done. Go ahead and fire up Inkscape. Go to Extensions, Ink Stitch About. And we have version 3.1.0 Beta Linux. Outstanding. So it is installed. Um, I've done a few development version updates along the way in the last month or so. There's a lot of new fonts. There's a lot of new uh, tools, extensions. You can look back on my previous videos, look for the development version, and I talk more about it. I'm not going to talk a lot about it in this one. Just explaining the beta is out. Try it out and file bugs if you can. I have done a few videos on some of the on some of the new tools like Meanderfill. That one's really cool. And I happen to have a picture of a meander fill here. There's one of my meander fills. 
zoom in a little bit. This is a three layer. One of the layers is white on a white hat. So one of those layers is basically invisible, but it's a red, white, and blue three layer meander fill. So that's very cool. If I show you this one, it's actually a little bit more detailed. You can see the three different colors, red, white, and blue meander fill. I do have a video on actually doing this one uh, somewhere back there. I'll link it here if I remember to. Some, there's, there's some new tools in there that's really cool. So check out the beta. And I'm going to go back to talk about some of that Windows stuff pretty quick. So back to inkstitch.org. Scroll on down. Testers welcome. Um, on all of these, the Windows, the Mac, the Linux, install instructions. The install instructions includes troubleshooting. So, like I said here, uh, Windows is trying to protect your PC, and it's not going to let you run that file unless you click Run Anyway. And right there's your Run Anyway button, and you run it anyway, and it's going to go ahead and install it. The next problem you're going to have is with antivirus and if you don't know if whether or not you installed antivirus it might be the default windows antivirus called defender and sometimes that will mess with it there is a way to go into defender and tell it to um to allow ink stitch to run but if you have troubles uh where is it troubleshoot Ink Stitch doesn't show up, it's grayed out. It's antivirus software is keeping it from running. Sometimes your antivirus software will delete files. If you get a message like this, it probably did. So this shows you how to get past some of that. Here's a Windows 7 error. Uh, they also have an error message on Windows 8. So apparently Windows 8 is at least somewhat supported. And that's your Windows troubleshooting. Mac, I'll look at it. I don't know much about Mac. Um, it's an Inkscape extension. Make sure you download Inkscape version 1.0.2 or higher before you install it. Make sure you've installed it and run Inkscape before installing Inkstitch. So that is something to look out for on the Mac. Uh, run update troubleshoot. Here's a four X's cannot be opened. Station fails. Doesn't run as grayed out. Most common issue is missing Rosetta installation. Okay. Okay. So there's that. And then Linux. I do hope they added something talking about Snap. Troubleshoot, it's grayed out. Uh, make sure it went to the correct folder, user extension folder, or Inkscape extension folder. Uh, confirm Ink Stitch version, confirm ownership. Yeah, Linux does have, Linux is a little bit more uh, detailed in, in folder and drive ownerships, permissions. That can be an issue. Uh, none type error object dialog disappears and that seems to be about it I really wish they had added something about snap I'm going to try a snap do a virtual machine snap for ink stitch or inkscape and then ink stitch and see if it's maybe working a little bit better now might do it for flat hub too and then I'm flat pack and then I'll I'll post my recommendations as a Linux user on that same GitHub. Okay, so, like I said, I will include the right link, and all it is is it's missing a slash ink stitch, slash ink stitch. And there it is. So, I'll include that link down below. Hopefully, they'll fix that pretty soon. Nobody has nobody has replied to that yet. 
and a lot of the people working on ink stitch are in Europe so I don't know time zones very well but I'm assuming it's probably dark over there right about now roughly what six or seven hours difference maybe not quite yet but pretty close don't know okay so that is a quick look at the beta and how to get to the github to write your issues uh, a little bit on troubleshooting your install if you have problems installing it on anything <laughs> mac maybe i don't know if, if i can get another mac virtual machine running it was very difficult the last couple times i'll try to help if you have an issue on linux or on windows i should be able to help just drop a just drop a comment in the video down below uh, and uh, I'll see if I can help you out. But other than that, that's all for this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.